It's me, Bree Reads! Hi friends, it's me, Bree. Today, let's read a story together. Ricky, the rock that couldn't roll. Written by Jay Maletsky. Illustrated by Aaron Wozniak. Ricky, the rock that couldn't roll. Over the lake and out past the bay was a green grassy hill where the rocks came to play. They would race to the top to take in the view, then roll their way down the way rocks love to do. There were Kip, Pip and Chester, and Marvin the Boulder. Ignatius played too, though he was much older. And a group called the Pebbles never ever sat still, zigzagging their way up and over the hill. Kai was a meteorite and not from this planet. And Maya was lava but taken for granite. Stu was the smart one, Parker the clown, and grumpy old Ebert rolled round with a frown. Gabby was sassy, Lisi had flair, Emma was giggly, and Hud had black hair. <laughs> How do you make a tissue dance? You put a little boogie in it. <laughs> oh, seriously? But the one trait that seemed to be shared by them all was that every rock there was shaped like a ball. And because they were round, they could easily roll through the grass, past the lake, up and over the knoll. Except for poor Ricky, who quietly sat. You see, Rick couldn't roll because one side was flat. Ugh, what part of this is supposed to be fun? His friends didn't get it. Come roll, they would chant. So Ricky tried but replied, I'm sorry, I can't. But the rocks were determined. They were sure they could solve Ricky's flat-sided problem and help him revolve. So Marvin the Boulder, with his impressive physique, carried Rick all the way to the hill's grassy peak. Then he pushed him downhill, yelling, Keep rolling, kid! But Rick didn't roll. He just kind of slid. This feels like a bad idea. Well, the rocks weren't done, not by a mile. Surely this next try would get Rick to smile. They stuck rubber balls all over Rick, using big gobs of glue to get them to stick. They were proud of themselves. This, this will work. work, they announced, but Ricky still couldn't roll. Now he just sort of bounced. No good, no good, no good. Well, they pushed and they pulled, trying every which way to get Rick to roll. But by the end of the day, nothing had worked, just like Rick expected. And he ended up feeling depressed and dejected. It's no use, Ricky sighed. There just isn't a way. So I'll sit off to the side and watch you all play. But his friends wouldn't quit. We're, We're here, here for, for you, brother. brother. And we'll get you to roll one way or another. So they pondered and thought, each straining his brain, till they looked up and saw it was starting to rain. And that's when it hit that smart stone named Stu. Eureka! He shouted, I know just what to do. He explained to them how they would get Rick to tumble. My plan is pure genius! Stu wasn't too humble. 
So they carried our hero down the road about a mile to the lake where they gathered up mud they could pile on the flat side of Rick, creating a mound that they shaped, smoothed, and sculpted until it was round. Then after the rain, with the sun in the sky, they left him to bake till the mud was all dry. They gathered up vines and one colorful feather that they wrapped all round Rick to keep it together. Does anyone have a towel? When the last knot was tied and the work was all done, the only step left was for Rick to have fun. They stood back and watched, feeling nervous and tense as Rick breathed in deep with increasing suspense. He moved slowly at first, testing out his new mold. And then, for the first time, Ricky the Rock rolled! So Bria, the ladybug who'd been there from the start, felt a surge of pure joy swell up in her heart. She thought, as she watched her friends play on the hill, that there's always a way, if there's also a will. And she said to herself, as Ricky rolled down the slope, when you're surrounded by love, you always have hope. The end. Thank you for reading with me today. Rolling is hard for Ricky. He's flat on one side, but he can do hard things, especially with the help of friends. Where there's a will, there's a way. Can you do hard things? Yeah! And of course, you can always ask for help. Friends, you can find me on Instagram. And please, subscribe to my channel for more books and more fun. See you next time. Bye-bye.